As you probably noticed, the fluid conveyance marketplace is changing. Another tier of the product market has been a growing trend over the last decade, standard performance products which meet, not exceed, industry specifications. Historically, we focused on serving the premium tier marketplace, products that exceed all major industry specifications for attributes such as pressure, temperature, abrasion, impulse life, giving customers the greatest advantages in performance, reliability, and total cost of ownership. While premium products continue to advance technologically as performance expectations increase, the space for standard products which just meet specifications is growing larger. This market trend has led more customers to consider such standard products for some applications instead of premium tier products while keeping the cost of ownership at a competitive level. Let's talk about the difference between Eaton's premium and standard tier products. Remember, premium products exceed industry specifications and are rated for higher pressures, temperatures, and abrasion resistance. Also, they're tested to higher impulse cycles for longer life, compatibility with more fluids, and offer a variety of industry certifications. Eaton's new winter hose, however, meets the standard industry specifications for EN and SAE while the ratings for pressure, temperature, and abrasion resistance are below that of our premium products, they meet the requirements of many customer applications at a competitive price, while still giving you a complete solution combined with qualified Eaton fittings. Two-tier markets are all around us, in our day-to-day -day lives, as well as our industry. For example, an OEM may manufacture a combine with both premium and standard performance products within the same platform. Though some critical components on the combine, such as the hydrostatic drive or auger cylinder, will require rigorous specifications for higher pressures, temperature, and abrasion, other circuits, such as the steering or straw spreader within the combine, may not need to meet those demands, 